Welcome to the Social Security Administration. How can I help you? I got a message, a voicemail to call this number or something's wrong with my Social Security number or some kind of activity. I, I don't know. Can I have your first and your last name, sir? Yeah, first name is Peevish, P-E-E-V-I-S-H. Last name mm -hmm. McWoozy, M-C-W-O-O-Z-Y. And what are the last four digits of your social? Last four is 1984. Sir, you received this call from the Social Security Administration with employment number 19794. What's that mean? My name is Michael James and oh. my batch ID number is 19794. If you want, you can write it down, sir. I need that number again now, sir. 19794. 19794. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. Now, the reason why you received this call, sir, because there is a legal lawsuit that has been filed against your name by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and we received a complaint from the FBI to suspend your social security number. For what? The reason involved, yeah, the reason involving of your social for the illegal use for the illegal purpose. So, what? are you aware about that? Well, no. What? What would I use my social security for illegal purposes for? I, I don't know. Uh, okay, you don't have any idea, sir? No, I don't have any idea. Jesus, okay, that's, I, I, that's what I live on, Social Security. And now you're mm -hmm. saying it's suspended. For what? I don't know why. So how many bank accounts that you are using right now? I have one oh, bank. I have one bank I bank with. One bank. And do you have any sort of balance in that? Any what? Do you have any amount into your bank accounts right now? Oh well, yeah, there's some in there. And by any chance, do you know what would be that amount? Well, in the check, and I probably got 2000 in savings, I probably got maybe 8000 I don't know, 8000 tops. Okay. Now, listen to me very carefully, sir. If you don't have any idea, let me go ahead and let me guide you up, okay? Okay, but I, I, I need my Social Security. So I don't think you understand that. Sorry? I don't think you understand that I live on Social Security. I'm retired. I understand, sir, that you live on Social Security. That is the reason we are trying to help you out well, with I, this I, legal matter. Okay. What okay. Do we okay. So go, go ahead. Okay. So just listen to me, sir. Okay. Now, the reason... Okay, the, the lines on which we are talking are the three-way recorded lines attached with the court attorney general with your local police department, as well as with the FBI. So listen to me carefully. Why would my local police department care about my social security? Sir, you have to listen to me first. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'm getting upset. Now? Okay. Sir, these are the three-way recorded calls on which we are talking right now, okay? Yeah, I know. I told me that. With, yeah, with... Yeah, with the U.S. Court Attorney General, with your right. local police department, yeah. as well as with the headquarter of FBI. Right. Now, sir, have you ever shared your social security number to any third person before? Well, no. Who would I give it now? You don't give your social security number to anybody. You haven't shared it with anyone, right? Have oh. you ever lost your social security card before? No. No. You I've have had, not. I've had the same card for 50 years. Okay. And, sir, do you use your social security number over the Internet for any of the uh, social networking website? Well, no. They don't ask for your social security number. Why Why would I use it there? Okay. Now, sir, let me go ahead and let me guide you further. Okay? Okay. The reason why we called you, sir, because FBI have discovered an abandoned car in the southern border of Texas, and during the detailed investigation, the FBI in charge found that car was carrying 12 pounds of cocaine, few kilograms of other banned substance with an unlicensed gun. We have also received what? an information. What does this have to do with me? Could you tell me that? If you will allow me to finish with my information, then okay. only you will come to know. Okay, I'm, okay. Go ahead. Now, sir. Yes, sir. So FBI have found an abandoned car. Okay, 
Okay. And which contains two or uh, twelve pounds of cocaine, few kilograms of other uh, banned substance with an unlicensed. You, you already told me all that. Unlicensed. Okay. Yeah, with an. Too much jail, all under camera. With an unlicensed what? gun, sir. What did you say? Sir, you are not allowed me to speak. I am. Go ahead. How would I say anything? Okay, go ahead. First of all, turn off your loudspeaker. Turn off a what? Turn off the speaker of your phone. I'm not on the speaker of my phone. I'm on my Bluetooth. Okay. Now, listen to me, okay? The information which I am giving you out. Okay. The bank, the car which we have found, that car was registered under your name, under your social security number. Okay. Uh, apart from that, sir, the all the twelve bank accounts and eleven credit card which we have found, which is used for the money laundering purposes, also been associated with your name, with your social. That is the reason FBI forwarded your case to us, and they request us to suspend your social security number. The reason involving of your social for the illegal use for the illegal purpose, sir. And they have filed a two legal lawsuit under your name. Number one is drug trafficking. Number two is money laundering. You sure it's under my name? You sure you got the yes, right sir. guy? Yes, sir. Peevish McMoosey, that's me. Yes, sir, that's you. And we got the right person over here. Okay. I, I don't know that how somebody I don't know I don't yeah. know how somebody got my social security number I don't know. Okay, that is the reason sir FBI forwarded your case to us to close your case on an immediate basis, sir. And what? So they have filed a two legal lawsuit under your name. Number one is drug trafficking. Number two is money laundering. And they request us to suspend your social security number. Now once we will suspend your social, we once we will block your social, sir. Each and every bank accounts which we have got under your name, including your one and including a fraudulent one, will going to be blocked, and the money will transfer to the U.S. Treasury Department. Apart from this, sir, if you have any assets why would you associated with your why would you block oh, my yes, bank sir. account? Would sir, you, don't yell at me, please. I'm upset. Okay? Listen to me. Go ahead, but don't yell, sir. Go ahead. So once we will suspend your social, sir, we need uh, every each and every bank account will going to be blocked. Now, before we go ahead and suspend your social security number, my supervisor went through with your past records, and we had found that you have not been involved to any kind of crime or physical alteration before. Am I right? No, I, I had that one problem. Um, I was drunk in public, but that really wasn't my fault. I was, I was in the bar, and they threw me out, and I was out in the street, okay. and the cops said I was drunk in public. But I didn't want to be drunk in public. I wanted to be drunk in the bar, but I got arrested. You don't have any case regards with drug trafficking and money laundering. Not drunk? That's what I'm no, you. no, I was drunk in public. That's all. I wanted to be drunk in the bar, but they threw me out. Okay. Right. That leads us to believe that that might be it was not you. Someone else is using your social security number to run such kind of illegal activities, and you are only the victim of identity theft. Well, if I'm the victim, why are you closing my bank account? Because, sir, right now you are the primary suspect in front of us. I'm okay. one or the now other. I'm either doing? the primary suspect or I'm the victim. I, I can't be both. Okay, listen to me. Now, the thing is that, sir, that we need to differentiate that which is the real bank account and which is the fraudulent one. So you said that you are not using 12 bank accounts. You have only one bank account. Am I right? I got one bank account, yes. In which bank you're banking with? Can you give me the name of that bank? Bank of America. And do you have a saving, uh, checking or saving account in that? Both. What is the available balance that you have in that? What is the one? What is the balance which is available right now in your account, sir, which we need to secure, which we need to safeguard? I got 2000 in checking and mm. 8000 8, in savings, I think. I think it's 8000 I haven't looked. I don't know. It's around. All right. There. Apart from that, do you have any credit card? Yeah, I got a Visa. With the same bank? Yeah. And what is the limit in that? The limit? I don't know. 7000 8000 I, I never use it. I don't know. Perfect. Now, sir, right now what we are going to do, we have to fix up a meeting with you. On that meeting, our three officers will personally reach to you. Okay, number one from the social security, number two from the FBI, number three from your local police department who will personally what time hand over you. What time are they that coming? I'm going to help you out. Hold on, first listen to me. Okay, they will yeah, hand over to you the new social. They will hand over you the new social security number, because anyhow we need to block your current social, which is used for the illegal purposes. Because we need to stop all the illegal activities which is going through with your social. Yes. Now, 
you have two options sir listen to me very carefully option number one you can simply go ahead and you can simply disconnect the call once the lines get disconnected we will block each and every bank accounts including your one then you need to hire a criminal lawyer for yourself who can go who can help you out to give you the bill okay and then to reclaim back your money from the u.s treasury department number two you can simply cooperate with us we will be helping you out at how you can go ahead and secure your money and then how you can get your new social so you have to let me know first we op which option you want to work upon i don't know what's the second one entail what have i got to do in second one sir you just need to verify the amount which you have in your bank account okay, with the I help of digital i did that digital currency so uh, do you do you aware about what is digital currency means digital i don't have any idea what digital currency is i'm going to help you out sir what you need to do you just need to convert your funds from your bank accounts from your bank into the digital currency for which you will get the receipts okay that receipts you need to keep safe and secure with you which will prove that yes you have successfully converted your funds which is your hard earned money and you just need to hand over that which is at the point of our appointment to our officers they will scan the receipts they will give you the new social with the cashier check for the same amount which you are going to convert okay so what have we got to do? do it online not online sir do you have a car do you drive no i don't drive i'd have to get a ride i'm i'm disabled i got cped is there any way that you can uh, come out of your home oh i can, yeah i just can't drive with cped it affects the steering wheel i can't steer with it okay and how far is your bank from you a couple miles it's only the other side of town can you help me out with your current address yeah, it's 3973 Pheasant Ridge Road, Philadelphia. Which Ridge Road, sir? Huh, what? Ooh, what? I didn't hear you. Thir 3973? Yeah, Pheasant Ridge Road. How do you spell that? F-E-S-A-N-T. Can you go ahead one more time? With what? I don't know where you're left off. It's 3973 and the Ridge Road. Uh, the, you need to spell out which Ridge Road. Pheasant, pheasant, like the bird, pheasant. Oh, after that, pheasant Ridge road. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay. Now, what I'm going to help you, out, sir, that we will simply go ahead and we will simply convert your funds if you want, and then we can fix up your meeting with our officers as well. Okay. So right now, if you are at three nine seven three, do you have any of the convenience store nearby, like Walmart, Walgreens, something like that? Yeah, there's a Walmart not far away. How far is that? I don't know, a few blocks. So, uh, if if you need to go there, how you will manage to go there, sir? I'd have to get a ride from someone. Allow me a moment, <laughs> sir. Okay. Is there anybody at your home right now? No. <laughs> Quiet, Polly. Listen. <laughs> No, just me and my parrot. He don't drive. And if you will ask for the ride, who will be that person? Oh, I can ask my neighbor probably. Uh, don't you know how to book an Uber or how to book a cab for yourself, the taxi? No. Why, why would I do that when I can get a ride for free from my neighbor? Okay. Uh, make sure do not disclose this information with your neighbor that why you are going towards the Walmart. Okay, make sure about that. Why, what, am I going to why am I going to Walmart? You said something about the bank. I, I, what am I going to Walmart for? Uh, sir, the thing is that we just need to convert your funds into the digital currency. There will be a encrypted vouchers which you will get easily from the Walmarts, which I'm going to help you out. Okay. So I got to call my neighbor? And uh, for that, you need to disconnect the call. Uh, no, I can no. I'm on my cell phone. I can you call him in the in the house phone. You do have a house phone? Yeah. Okay, but if he will tell you that why you are going to the Walmart, what you will gonna tell them that why you are going there? I, I'm gonna tell him I don't have a clue why I'm going there. I don't know why I'm going there. You never told me why I'm going there, so what am I gonna tell him? Sir, if if I will tell you, then also you are not authorized to tell them that why you are going there. But if I don't know, because how can is, I tell him? I don't know. That's perfect. You have to just tell them that you have a, uh, you have to purchase something that is when you are going to the Walmart. Right now, according according to the protocol, sir, you are not authorized to share or disclose this case to any another person 
okay because this is a matter of identity theft and we don't know that who is that person might be someone from your neighbor from your family members or from your colleague who is using your identity to so make sure about that do not share this information to your neighbor as well just tell them you have an you have some thing to buy that is then you are going to the walmart just call to your neighbor i will be on a call with you okay let me call him i am the holding the lines you can just call them and do not share any information about your case sir Hello, Patsy. This is Peevish, Peevish, across the street. I need a ride to Walmart. Can you give me a ride to Walmart? You know I don't drive with this CPED I got. Yeah, it kicks up every once in a while. Well, they gave me these blue pills, but they don't seem to be doing much. Yeah, just hangs around. Well, can you give me a ride? I gotta go to Walmart. Um, why, uh... Got to buy some, uh, mm, uh, I got to buy some, uh, mm, milk. I got to get some milk. Yeah, I think that's the best milk. Okay. Yeah, just pull up in front and blow the horn. Okay. Okay, Patsy. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Yeah, he's, he, my neighbor's going to pick me up. And how much time is it going to take you? He only lives across the street. Once your neighbor will be outside the doorstep, you have to let me know. Well, he's going to blow the horn. He's not going to come in. He's not going to come to my okay. doorstep. He's going to just okay. pull up in front and blow the horn. And what you need to do is that, sir, do you... Huh? What? Do, uh, you do have a bank card with you, right? Like a debit card? Yeah. Okay, just grab the debit card with you. Just grab the valid ID with you. And do you have an earphone, like headphones? Yeah, I got my Bluetooth. Okay, perfect. Do not talk to me in front of your neighbor. Once you will step out outside the Walmart, then only you have to talk to me. Okay? Okay. I just got to wait now, for I'm him. just holding. Yeah, wait I'm just hold I thought. Okay. So then when I get to Walmart, what am I going to do? Sir, you will get the encrypted voucher. As I told you that right now, you cannot keep anything in your bank account. Why you cannot take... withdraw. Why don't you just mm -hmm. take the money out? It will consider as a money laundering, sir, that you come to know about the case and you are just trying to hide the stuff from the government. So you cannot just easily go ahead and you cannot easily withdraw the funds from your bank account. It will against the rules and regulation. Okay? Because right now we are just fall, uh, we are just following the Privacy Act 1998. According to that, you cannot keep anything in your bank account. If you want to safeguard your funds, you just need to convert your funds into the digital currency and you will get the receipt for that. Okay. Understand? All right. You do not have to worry about. We are not just going to convert the whole amount. We are just going to convert the. Oh, there's Patsy. Okay, okay. I'm going. You can just see, you can just sit in your car and, and let me know once you will be inside the car. Just talk to me like you are talking to your friend. Okay. How the hell am I going to do that? Hey, Patsy, how are you doing? Yeah, I just got to shoot down there. Okay, I'm, I'm in the car. It's okay, do not talk to me. I'm yeah, in... do not talk to me in front of him. Okay, I won't Just talk. once you will be, I won't say once you will be outside, just only talk to me. Okay, I'm not talking to anybody, Patsy, no. Jeez, did you have to bring the stupid dog with you? Yeah, shut the dog up. Yeah, right? Yeah. This has been a bad thing. Well, the CPED has got me a little depressed. You know how it is. Now, they gave me these blue pills, and they said they were going to help out the CPED. You don't seem to be ready for that. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I guess when you get to the ER, it doesn't matter anymore. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, well, I'm here at Walmart. I told you it wasn't far away. I'm walking so in. Step outside? I'm walking in. Now I'm out of the car. You can't hear me. Patsy can't hear me. Okay, now, what have I got to do when I get in here? Will you please tell me what I got to do?
Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm gonna tell you each and everything. You don't have to worry further. Just go inside and look for an IR where all short of prepaid card and uh, master cards kept together. Just look for an IR, okay? Just go inside. Okay, I met the cards. What kind of card do I want? Okay. Don't okay. Want, I don't which know what I'm do doing see, here. Sir? There's all kinds of cards. Okay. Which card do you see? Do you see the card name with Google Play? Google Play? Yeah. There's a whole shitload on there. And what is the denomination? Uh, 10, 20, 50, 100, mm -hmm. 10 to 500. That's it. Do you see for, do you see for 20 to 1,000? 20,000? No, no. For 20 to 1,000 dollars. Yeah, yeah. But I'm asking you, did you see the card for 10 to 500, right? I said yes. And you do not see the card, the same card for ten, twenty to thousand dollars. I said yes, I do. You do see for twenty to thousand, right? Right. Okay. Now what am I gonna do with these things? So the thing is that Google never manufactured the card for twenty to thousand dollars. I didn't say it was twenty two thousand dollars. I said it was ten to one thousand. I don't know. Oh boy. Is it for ten to one thousand? Yes. <laughs> okay, come out. What? Come out of what? You scamming. Come fucker. out of the wall. You, you scamming. Of the wall. You scamming son of a bitch.